Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Off-Grid Rooftop Cargo Basket here on our 2021 Audi Q7. Now a rooftop basket is a great way to expand the cargo space of your vehicle without necessarily adding to like the hitch or the back of your vehicle. The hitch does require cutting on this vehicle so maybe you don't want to get a hitch, you don't want to make permanent modifications to your car or you have the hitch and it's otherwise occupied with something like a bike rack or a small camper. The roof is the next best place to get that extra gear or luggage out of your car and to your destination safely. We do have that third row of seats, so if we have that up and we've got passengers in there, that back cargo area is not super big and we need that extra space wherever we can get it. Now you've got a ton of options when it comes to rooftop baskets. There's some that definitely lend themselves more to aesthetics. There's some that are very purpose built like the Yakima Skinny Warrior that will leave a lot of excess space on your roof rack for something else like a bike rack or a kayak. And then there's stuff like this. The off-grid is unique in the sense that it has these load dividers here. You can adjust these and move them around to box off and segment your cargo. So say maybe we've got a cooler in this section here. We can get these bars moved in, box in that cooler, still strap it down, but those bars are gonna help hold it in place and make sure everything's secure and well divided. Now with all that cargo loaded up, we do wanna be mindful of our weight capacity. We do have 165 pounds of weight capacity, which is definitely on par with other baskets out there. The one thing you wanna keep in mind is that your roof rack's gonna have its own weight capacity, and more than likely, because of the added weight of the empty carrier, we will want to go by that rating. So just make sure you're not overloading any sort of component in your system there, and you're hauling all your gear safely. Now up front, we do have this large fairing that is gonna help with wind deflection. So going down the road at high speeds, we're not gonna get as much wind noise. With anything that you put on your roof though, you will get some noise, so just be mindful of that. But this fairing should help reduce that. If we want to, we can remove it. So if we want to have some sort of elongated cargo that's maybe extending through, we can, and we can use the basket to secure it down. Just depends on what you want to be hauling and what's going to fit in the basket. Speaking of what you can store in your basket, let's check out the dimensions. We're going to be going from inside to inside edge to get your actual usable space so you can lay out your own gear, see what's going to fit. So from side to side here, we are going to be working with 37 and 3 quarters of an inch. And for front to back, I'm going to measure from the fairing just down to the end of the cargo basket here, which is about 41 inches. But keep in mind, you can choose to remove that fairing and have a little bit of overhang comfortably on each edge. Just be mindful of having everything secured down properly so nothing shifts on you. Now, as far as how this attaches to your roof rack, I really like the system this has. It's got these thin bands that wrap around the crossbar and will secure up to these sliding tracks here. So it's really easy to get it adjusted to your roof rack depending on your crossbar spread. Then we can just add that lever in, throw it down, and pop this end in to lock that lever in place. Now, out of the box, it doesn't come with lock cores, but we can add them for that security aspect there. But it gets a very strong hold of the basket on the roof rack here, and it's super easy to get it installed. Plus, once we've got it set for our crossbars, we don't have to worry about it. We can take this basket off, and the next time we put it on there, all the settings are gonna be proper, and we can just get that latch down even quicker than the first time. Now, as far as overall height added goes, from the top of our crossbar to the top of our rack here, we are gonna be adding six and a half inches. That's something we wanna watch out for when we're pulling in our garage. This itself might not be an issue, but as soon as you start loading it up with cargo, that cargo is likely going to extend past these sidewalls here. So that's gonna be even more height added to the top of our vehicle. Just be careful when you are pulling in your garage or any sort of parking garages where the clearance might be low that you do have that extra height added. Now we do have plenty of tie down points around the whole carrier here. These thinner portions would be great to run like a cam buckle strap through. And all of these smaller bars on the bottom are perfect for any S hooks if we've got ratchet straps that we want to use to secure our cargo down. Now overall for me, a rooftop basket is a great way to improve the functionality of your Q7 and get you that extra cargo space. 
If you're maybe looking to haul something like skis, you probably want to go with either a box or a dedicated ski carrier just to protect those sensitive items that we don't want to get damaged. But if you're looking for a great way to haul camping gear, luggage, things that maybe don't matter as much or are just bulky and oversized, maybe not the best candidates to store in a box, a basket is going to be a great way to do that and we don't have to make any sort of permanent modifications to our vehicle to get it on our roof rack. I think overall the off-grid is going to be a great fit for the Q7 here and it's going to really help you out on those long trips. Thanks for watching.